Where does math begin? Today, we're gonna talk about the nine building blocks of math, otherwise known as axioms, which you can trace the entirety of math back to. Once you know all nine, you'll know the foundations for all math. So stick around, let's learn what axioms are. Axioms are truths that we take for granted in math. Something so basic, so fundamental, that we just take it for granted. But let's make some examples. Do you know what's an axiom? No. 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 So I'm gonna tell you. An axiom is something that we take for granted in math, without a proof. Because mm -hmm. it is very simple, very basic, and so we take it for granted, okay. without a proof. So the, the real question is, which one do you think is an axiom in math? Some, something that we take for granted. One plus one equals two, or if I have two jars with the same balls, then those jars are equal. Which one do you choose, A or B? Let's just try. Um, Which one do you think is so basic that, that doesn't need a proof? A. Yeah. A. Both, <laughs> your, both of you are, go are going with A. Yeah. Yes. And it's actually B, <laughs> because, because one plus one needs a proof, one plus one equals two can be proved. There are a series of logical steps that lead to prove that one plus one is equal to two. Well, this one is something that we take for granted because it is just true without any proof. Uh, yeah. Okay, you understand? Yeah. Yes. One plus one equals to two is not an axiom. If you know the definition of number one and you know the definition of plus, and you know the definition of equals, and you know the definition of number two, then you can prove that one plus one is actually two. So this is a little theorem, and we're gonna actually give the definition of numbers later in this series. But for the time being, let's just say that we can prove that one plus one is equal to two just by using our fingers. This is not really rigorous, and we're gonna be rigorous later on, but for the time being, let's just accept that we can prove that with our fingers. So it's not, a, it's not a, an axiom, it's a theorem. Which one do you think we take for granted in math? The first one? The first one? Yeah. It is actually the second one. Oh. Let's make another example. Two to the power of zero is equal to one. This is another theorem, because it can be proved. And if you don't know how to prove it, just watch my previous video where I give 10 proofs that 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this is a theorem, it's not an axiom. So what are axioms then? Uh, huh. I, I, know, I know that A does need a proof, but I'm going to go with B. You know, I, A what? I, I believe I know that A needs a proof, so yeah, I'm going to go with so, B. Yeah, and that's perfect, that's okay. true. Cool. A needs a proof, that's not easy, and this one is just a truth of reality. Okay. That's an axiom. Perfect. Awesome. So there are assertions, sentences, that cannot be proved simply because they are too basic, too fundamental, too at the beginning of math. So let's make an example. Consider these two jars with some balls in them, and if they have the same balls, if they have the same colored balls, then we can say that they're equal. But we cannot prove that because we don't know how to prove it. We, have, we don't have any tools to prove that. We would need something even more basic to prove this. And what's more basic than jars with some balls or containers with some points, with some objects? There's nothing more basic than that. Well, one plus one equals two. You think this one? It's gonna be the axiom. You think this one is the axiom? Yeah. And it is actually B. So, more formally math, we talk about sets and elements. We don't talk about jars with balls. <laughs> But that's just the same thing, you know, that's a container with some objects, a set with some elements. So that's the words we use in math, sets and elements. And so uh, two sets that have the same elements are equal. That's the first axiom of math, the first truth of math that we take for granted. Now you know the first truth of math. That's the very first truth of math, where everything begins. Isn't that cool? Let's state the first axiom formally, in mathematical terms. For every set A, there it is. And for every set B, there it is. We have that A is equal to B, if and only if, for every element C, C belongs to A, if and only if C belongs to B. Therefore, if we have an element A in A, 
we must have the same element A in B. And if we have an element B in B, we must have the same element B in A. And if we have an element C in A, we must have the same element C in B. This is the very first axiom of math, where everything begins. And if you want to try to prove this, you'll end up using the same words or sort of synonyms, and you won't actually be able to prove it, because proving means logically deducing its truth from simple facts. But what simple facts do you have to start with? And even if you had something simpler to start with, eventually you'll have some starting points, something whose truth you take for granted, you must take for granted because there must be a starting point. Those are the axioms. I think A. You think A? Yeah. So this one doesn't need a proof. I think not. I'm wrong, yes? Yeah, it's actually B. In the current, more common and more used axiomatization of math, there are nine axioms. Nine uh, truths that we build everything upon. So every theory, every theorem, every definition, numbers, functions, whatever you know in math derives from these axioms. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool that we can build everything upon nine truths that we just take for granted and everything else derives from them? So in this series, we're gonna study, explore all these axioms. Yeah, but don't panic. Many of them, many of the nine axioms are really simple because they are at the beginning of math, so they must be simple. Not all of them are simple, some are quite tricky, but they're all interesting because from them you can derive lots of stuff and we're gonna check that in the next videos. So today we've seen the first axiom that says that two jars that contain the same balls are equal, that we take for granted, and in the next video, we're gonna see the second axiom. So check it here or here, I don't know.